Hi everyone, welcome to Breathe Flow Be with Sharon Lynn. I am Sharon Lynn and I'm so happy to be here with you today. Um, welcome to all of you joining for the first time. Welcome back to all of you joining again. It's always wonderful to have you. Today we're going to focus on a class for runners. I've had a lot of people request this specific class. I know everyone's running. It's the fall season. It's a great time to be outdoors, but we need to make sure that we are warming up the muscles correctly, getting a little oxygen flowing in the body so that we are able to prevent injuries and just maximize our run time. All right, let's get started. So we're actually going to start by warming up the hip flexors a bit. So just go ahead and start in a nice seated position. You're going to take your hands behind you, let your weight fall back into your hands, bend your knees, and just start to let your knees rock side to side. You can let one knee open and then the other follow. As you do so, you want to start to breathe. Send your breath to your hip flexors. You want to feel like they're just like hanging on hinges there just like doors, just easily flopping side to side, easy, easily opening and closing, letting them really, really release. Nice, let's take it once more each side. Nice and easy in the hip flexors. Good, really, really nice. Come back up to a seated position. Cross your legs. So we're gonna do this, one of my favorite little like cradling baby postures. You're gonna take your right leg, wrap your arm around your leg. And this doesn't, you don't have to be super flexible to do this. So maybe it doesn't come in that far. Maybe it's a little further away from you. You wanna make sure wherever you are, you take the weight of your leg completely. If you're holding it, you can just hold it here and just gently make circles with the leg so that the hip flexor can just relax on its own. We put so much stress and strain on the hip flexors. If you have it close to you, you can rock side to side. As we're walking around, we get up, stand up, sit down, stand up, sit down all day. So this part of the body takes a lot of, a lot of strain. So we want to give it a little love. Nice. Sending the breath to the hip flexor, any part of the body that may be resisted, it's always a good idea to consciously send the breath there. And it really helps. Same thing, other side. Wherever you are, just be there. Maybe you make circles with the legs. Just really focus on letting that hip flexor be nice and loose, nice and easy, nice and lubricated. Good, rocking side to side. Yes, very nice. And then release the leg. We're gonna come to a tabletop position. Nice. In your tabletop position, you're going to start to walk your fingertips forward and let your chest fall down. We're just opening up the front of the body, letting the chest be heavy, letting the forehead touch the mat. Feel the shoulders start to open up. Nice, nice and open. Your belly button is pulling towards your spine so that you can support the lower back. Inhale. Exhale, we stay. Nice, gently walk your fingertips back towards you. Good, we're just gonna shift the right leg in between the hands, the right knee. So shift the knee forward, and you're gonna stay, we're gonna do kinda like a modified pigeon here, warming up the hips a little more. Gonna heel toe the back leg back, come up to the tips of the fingers on the left side, take the right arm and reach it all the way up. As you reach it up, you feel your hip flexor really starting to open up more. So resist the urge to let yourself sink into your lower spine. You want to pull your belly button towards your spine ever so slightly. Come up to your fingertips a little more so you feel the hip flexor opening up. Try to keep your hips nice and square. You also feel the abdominal stretching here, which can feel really, really good. Inhale. Exhale, we stay. Now let's go into a little bit of a pigeon here. So heel toe the right foot out to the side. Go ahead and drop over onto that hip. Walk the fingertips forward. If you have something and you need a little bit more support to prop your hips on, maybe a book, maybe a pillow, go ahead and do that. If not, let your hip fall down. And then you start to walk your body forward. Maybe you just come to your elbows, let the weight of your head take you deeper into the stretch. Maybe you can lengthen your arms all the way out and breathe into it. Inhale. And exhale, stay. Two more rounds of breath in. Deep breath in. And exhale. 
Once more, we breathe in. And breathe out. Good. Gently walk your hands back towards you. And with nice and so much ease, you're going to start to bring your legs in. Gently bring your feet back to your knees and feet back to tabletop. And then the, just switch to the other side. Bring your left knee forward. Good. Start to heel to your back leg back. Let your hips fall down a little more. Try not to let them open. Really keep those hips facing the mat. We come up to your fingertips. Don't sink in the spine. Pull your belly button towards your spine so that you're nice and supported. Right hip flexor is stretching. We lift the left arm up. We take two rounds of breath here. Breathe in. And breathe out. Now, if you can't access this and you need both fingertips down, you can still keep both hands down and just press your fingertips down and breathe into it. One more breath here. Breathe in. And breathe out. Nice, like your fingertips drip back down, coming back into pigeon. So let your hip fall over onto the mat. Let that foot come from underneath you. Find a nice position that you can stay in and breathe in for a few rounds of breath. Start to walk your hands forward. Once again, if you need to prop your hip up, grab a block, pause it, grab a pillow, find something so you can sit up nice and high so that you're supported. Once you find your position, bring your elbows down or bring your arms all the way down. If you can, let your forehead connect to the mat. Let your shoulders fall heavy. And take two rounds of breath here. Breathe in. And breathe out. Once again, breathe in. And use every exhale to send somewhere in your body. Exhale, breathe out. Gently with control, start to walk your hands back in towards your shin. Make your way back to a tabletop, coming out of it gently with so much ease. Good. Wag your tail side to side. Releasing the hip flexors even more. Nice. Stop in the center. Tuck your toes under. Make your way back to a down dog. First down dog of the class. Let your heels fall heavy. Feel all 10 knuckles pressing into the mat, all 10 fingers spread apart. Push the top of the mat away from you. Keep your ears aligned with your arms. If you need to bend your knees, go for it. Eventually, we want to work so that our heels are all the way down towards the mat. Feel your hamstrings, your calves, back of your Achilles, back of your knees start to really open up. If it feels good to bend one knee and then the other, walking your dog, go for it. Nice. We know the calves are something that can get really tight when we start to run and the hamstrings, so we want to really give them some love. Good. Start to walk your feet towards your hands, slowly and gently. Good. Once you find your way, feet connects to hands. You want to lift your toes up. Find your hands underneath your feet, palms facing your face. Walk your toes up towards your wrists. Bend your knees, connect your belly button to your thighs. Plug your shoulders down. Inhale, lengthen the shoulders down and away from you. Lengthen the spine. Exhale, let the elbows bend out to the sides. Really feel your feet pushing down into your hands. Your hands are pulling up into your feet. You can keep the knees bent, or if it feels good to lengthen the legs, do so. A nice, deep, yummy hamstring stretch. Three rounds of breath here. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Once more, last round of breath, inhale. And exhale through the nose. Maybe you pull your body a little closer for that last exhale. Go ahead and gently step off of your hands, release the hands, bend your knees, roll up through the spine, stacking through the spine, one vertebrae at a time. Your chin is the very last thing to stack. Nice, feel your body nice and stacked. Good, now we're just gonna open our feet. Let your toes come out to the side. Place your hand on your hips. You're gonna bend your right knee so that your knees are over your toes. And you can just shift your hip out to the side a little bit. You're gonna feel the inside of that thigh and that hamstring start to open up. Sending the breath there, breathe in. Let your shoulders be out of the equation. Let your shoulders fall down into your back. Exhale. Good. One more breath here. Breathe in. Maybe you go a little deeper in that plie, that bend of the knee. Exhale. 
Nice. Inhale, coming back center with control. Bring your hips back in line with your shoulders and bend over to the other side. Really make sure that knee is tracking over the big toe and second toe. We want to avoid it going in. It's hard, kind of hard to go out, but really be conscious of that because that protects the knee. Bend the knee, let the hip shift over to the side so that we can really feel that nice, deep, yummy stretch in that inner thigh. So good. Inhale. And exhale, we stay. Good, one more time just like that. Inhale. Exhale, stay. Nice, coming back center. Let the toes face forward. We're just gonna fold the body all the way over. Nice. And breathing into it. Maybe you stay here, maybe you reach your fingertips in between your legs. Maybe you need to bend your knees a little bit. Wherever you are, it's all good. Just be there, work within your own limitations. All right, so we always wanna think about honoring our limitations, but also expanding our boundaries. So, so it's a practice, so there's no, no need to compare, no need to try to be somewhere we're not, wherever we are, it's all good. The important thing is that we're here and we're doing this together. Inhale. Exhale, stay. One more breath here. Maybe you walk your fingertips out a little bit more. Maybe you pull your upper body a little closer to your thighs. Breathe in. And breathe out. Bend your knees. Rolling up through the spine. Releasing your fingertips. Let your head go. Let your neck go. Good. One last stretch here to end. We're just going to do a quad stretch. All right. So bend your knees, go ahead and let your knees connect. Reach around, grab the outside of your left foot. And maybe you take the other hand to assist. Try not to arch your spine, really connect here. Merely drop your tailbone down, let your rib cage connect. Nice and lift it, and then the quad can stretch properly. Nice, pull your heel as closely to your glute as you can, breathe in and breathe out releasing the foot lower down with control also a little balance thrown in there let's do the other side go ahead and let your feet come together let your knees connect bend the back leg the opposite leg reach around grab outside of the foot ankle maybe you get the other hand involved really making sure you're checking in with that alignment it can be hard to do in this position so even if you're not that your heel isn't that close to your glute. You wanna make sure that you drop the tailbone down, like I said, and lift up. You feel the difference in that stretch. Good quality stretch right here. Breathe in. And breathe out. Nice, release the foot, lower down with control. Good, one last stretch here for the neck. Inhale. Exhale, let the head go over to the side. Place your hand to the, your left ear, right hand to left ear. Let your ear fall over towards your shoulder, breathe in. And you're just gonna gently use your hand to assist in the stretch, exhale. Let your chin fall towards your armpit. Hand goes to the back of your head as you breathe in. Stretching out the back of the neck. The neck is very delicate, so make sure you're not like forcing the stretch. You're just adding a little assistance with the hand, exhale. Same thing, other side, let the arm drip down, opposite arm goes over, grabbing the ear. Let the side of the neck stretch out. And exhale. Once more, breathe in. And breathe out. Chin towards your armpit, same thing. And exhale. Nice, send a breath to the neck, breathe in. And let it go, breathe out, release the harm. Coming all the way back up to standing. Well, you should be ready for your run, nice and warm. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this class. It's always an honor to guide you. Remember to breathe, flow, be. It's a lifestyle, it's a mantra. And uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.